continuing with the uh, truth graph, uh, let us uh, look at the next graph. Continuing with only sine graph. So y is equal to uh, 2 sine of x plus 5. So I have yet to multiply any number with x, so I'll do that later on. Okay. So in the previous video, let me make a revision of what we did. So we started with sine graph. So the sine graph or sine of x looks like this. Your minus sine of x looks like this. Instead of going maximum, it goes to minimum. So here you have the maximum of 1 and the minimum of negative 1. Your baseline is 0. So your this number that comes after sine of x tells you the baseline. Okay. So here the baseline was 2. You're starting at 2 and you have an amplitude of 1. That's why your maximum is 3 and your minimum is 1. For this question, you're starting at negative 4. You're starting at negative 4, your maximum is 1. Again, the maximum was, your amplitude was 1. So from negative 4, which is your baseline, you're going 1 up and 1 down. So this is your maximum and this is your minimum. Now what happens if you have a number before sign? So this number, the first number that is uh, the coefficient of sine. So this is the called the coefficient of sine. So here, this number tells me the amplitude. So let me write that. So this is the number which tells me what's the amp or amplitude. And this is what tells me the baseline is. So these are very crucial information. So if you know baseline, so let me write baseline is phi and your amplitude is 2. So use your logic, your maximum is 2 above your baseline. So your maximum is 5 plus 2, which is 7, and your minimum is 2 below your baseline. So if you go 2 below 3, sorry, 5, you, you get to 3, or 5 minus 2 is 3. So, in other words, this sine graph is oscillating between 3 and 7. Can you see a relation between baseline, maximum, and minimum? What is the relation between 3, 7, and 5? Baseline is between maximum and minimum. Okay, so here I'll write one more formula. Max baseline, if you know maximum and minimum, you can write the baseline. Can you see the relation between 7, 3, and 10? Well, that's easy. 7 plus 3 is 10, divide by 2. So this is a formula that you can make yourself. Your baseline is always maximum, or it's an average of your maximum and minimum. So this is a formula that you don't need even to remember. Use your simple logic. So your baseline is maximum plus minimum divided by 2. So here the coefficient of x is 1. So the period is 360. So there is no transformation in the period. Okay, so the period is 360. And so your pitch is 360 divided by 4, which is 90. 360 divided by 4, which is 90 degree. Okay, so this information. So you got, this is your first information. This is your second information. This is third. This is fourth and phi. If you have phi or let us let me call the sixth information. This will draw help you to draw any graph. So let us dry, draw the y axis and the x axis. So your base your minimum is three. Okay. So this is zero. So this is three. This is your baseline and this is your maxima. It's not drawn to scale. You don't need to draw it to scale. So yeah, so let us label this. So this is your maximum, which is 7. This is your minimum, which is uh, how much? 3. This is your baseline, which is 5. Okay. And you got a period of 360. So this is your x-axis. And this is your y-axis. So 0, you've got a scale of 40, 90. So this is 90. This is 180. This is 270. And this is 360. 
Okay. So your sine graph again starts at zero. Sine always starts at your baseline, not zero, sorry, your baseline. Sine starts at the baseline, hits the maximum at your maximum. Sorry, whatever your maximum is, hits your maximum at 90, then hits the baseline at 180, your minimum at 270, and again come back to your baseline. So this is your sine curve for this graph. So your sine curve will, this is how it looks like. Okay, so let us check this on the calculator. Uh, let me delete this. So your equation was y is equal to uh, sine 2 sine of x plus phi. Okay, 2 sine of x plus phi. Okay, your scale should be, I want to look at the scale. Your x scale is fine. Your y should be, y minimum should be 0. And your maximum was 7 years. So I'll go up to 8. Okay, and a scale of 1 would do. And this is your sine graph. So only check at max, as you get the maximum at 90, your maximum should be 7. So G sol maximum. At 90, you have got the maximum of 7, G sol and minimum. At minimum, you have 270, the minimum of 3. Okay, so let us look at one more graph. Okay, so here, the next graph is y is equal to, I want you to pause this video if you would like to, minus 3 sine of x, sine of x, minus 2. Okay. You can pause the video and try to do this yourself. Okay, so this tells me the baseline. Sorry, this tells me the amplitude. The coefficient of sine is the amplitude. So we don't put the negative because negative is only telling me the direction. So the baseline amplitude is 3, okay, and your baseline is negative 2. So you're starting at negative 2. And your maximum, from baseline, you're going 3 up. So that is minus 2 plus 3, which is 1. So your maximum is 1. Your minimum is, from baseline, you're going 3 down. So from minus 2, you're take going 3 down. So minus 3, which is negative 5. Okay. So can you see the relation now? If you add the maximum and minimum, so if you add negative 5 plus, so let us let me show that, negative 5 plus 1 divided by 2, which is negative 4 divided by 2, which is negative 2, which is your baseline. So this is the formula that you is useful at times if you know this. So this is nothing but your baseline. So the, your period is again 360. There is no change in the period period is 360. Okay, in my next video, I'm going to show how the period changes. Okay, and the pitch is again 360 divided by 4, which is 90 degree. So this information is enough to draw the graph. So let us graph it. So this is your y-axis, and this is my x-axis. Okay, now let me, okay, your, what's your maximum? Okay, so let me draw the x-axis a little up. Okay, so your maximum was, your maximum is 1. So let me draw this. So this is your maximum. This is your maximum. And say this is your baseline. So let me draw the baseline like this. Say this is your baseline. Again, not draw to scale. And this is your minimum. Okay, so this is your minimum. So this is your x-axis. This is your y-axis. This is your maximum, which is 1. Your maximum is 1. This is your minimum. Minimum is negative 5. And this is your baseline, which is negative 2. Okay, so your this is your x-axis, so this is 0. This is 90, 
this is 180 this is 270 and 360 okay so we need to what's happening this what does minus sign do your sign starts at your baseline so there is no doubt about it your sign starts at baseline now this minus tells me I have to go to my to the minimum instead of maximum so this is your minimum so this is your minimum hits the minimum here then goes back to the baseline then hits the maximum oh your maximum is uh, yeah I have made a mistake here let me do this again this was my x and y axis sorry uh, yeah so this was my yeah so this was this is the maximum I let me correct myself so this is my maximum sorry this is my maximum which is one year okay it's a bit confusing this is your x-axis so zero this is let me delete this first so this is zero okay this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis so this is 0 90 180 270 360 okay so you're starting at baseline so let me use a different color so you're starting at baseline then you're going to your minimum so your minimum is at 90 okay you're coming back to baseline and then you're going to your maximum this is your maximum and at 360 you're coming back to your minimum so this is 360 degree this is 180 degree i think that is enough so from baseline you're going to your minimum the baseline then you're going to your maximum and then you're coming back to so this is 270 degree so at 270 degree you're hit, hitting your maximum at 90 degrees so this is your 90 degree you're hitting your minimum which is negative 5 so let us check this on the calculator okay so the equation was so let me see the equation is equation was minus 3 sine x minus 2 okay so I need to change the scale so delete so it is minus 3 sine of x minus 2 okay so we know the scale we want from 0 to 360 is fine I want to y minimum I'll go from say up to minus 6 to say 2 because I want maximum is 1 and then draw it so this is your graph okay so you g solve maximum maximum is 270 your maximum is 1, G solve your minimum. At 90, you got negative 5. 